I'm going to tell you what I think of the Light AF Curve 35 liter fast track backpack. What's up backpackers? I'm Dan and welcome to Backpacking Adventures where we talk about backpacking, hiking, and gear. If you're new to this channel and those interest you, consider subscribing, but make sure you click that bell notification so you don't miss a thing. I purchased this backpack from Light AF several months ago. Light AF is a small family run company founded in 2018. They specialize in ultralight gear made from Dyneema. I've used this on several backpacking trips and hiking trips over the past couple months, totaling over 200 miles. I feel I use this enough in most conditions that I can give a good review. Before we get into the specs, I want to explain that this is a fast track pack. A fast track backpack from Light AF is a backpack that has already been built with predefined features that you can't modify. They do have a very good custom option where you can pick pretty much everything about the backpack. But me, I'm impatient and I'll just take everything. The only things you can choose are the torso size, which is basically the fit, and the color. The sizes come in small, medium, and large, and the colors you can choose from are black, silver, and white, red, green, pink, and purple. Now, when Light AF says 35 liter, they mean only the main pocket. Now, the main body has two snaps and a roll top closure. The total volume of this pack is 45 liters if you include the humongous front pocket, the side pockets, and the bottom pocket. I'm really impressed with the front pocket. This thing is massive and it's stretchy. You can fit a bunch of stuff in there. The back, the bottom, and front panel are made from 5 ounce Dyneema. The side and front are made from 2.92 ounce Dyneema. The shoulder straps are the standard 19 inch straps. These straps are curved and they are very, very comfortable. It comes with a shoulder strap pocket on each shoulder strap. These are made of mesh and they do conform with the shape of the shoulder straps. They can hold a phone, your snacks, or other small items. This backpack has a bottom pocket made of spandex and nylon. This concept is new to me, so I'm still trying to figure out what the best use is for this. This pack comes with three point side compression cords with line locks. This helps you cinch everything down nice and tight. This has a lower, what they call an SBO V loop at the bottom. Having one of these at the bottom is a must for me on a backpack. This also has side pockets with adjustable tension. These pockets are huge. I can put two one liter smart bottles in each pocket. And the best part about these pockets is you can adjust the tension on these to tighten them down. I absolutely love this feature. There are four loops for trekking poles. It has a dual adjustable sternum strap. It has a top Y strap that is removable. Having a top strap is another one of those must haves for me. It has two one inch loops for a one inch belt or a fanny pack, but the hip packs do not come with the fast track pack. You have to order those separately. All the seams have been taped to make this extremely water resistant. And I can tell you from experience, I have been in downpours for hours at a time and no water has gotten into this backpack. I still use a pack liner. I still will recommend using a pack liner, but so far, no water has gotten in. Now this pack with all of these features only weighs 16 ounces. The load limit for comfort is about 20 pounds. Now I've had this pack at much heavier weights and I did not notice a single problem. And at the time of making this video, the cost was $299.99. That does not include any hip belt or fanny pack. They're separate. I chose the one inch belt with a fanny pack. The fanny pack is another new concept for me, but so far I love it. So far in using this backpack, this backpack has been outstanding. It is the perfect size for me for most of the times of the year. I did order a 46 liter from Light AF for my winter loadout. For this pack, the body is a full 35 liters, and overall this has plenty of room for all my gear. The fit of this backpack is amazing. It is very, very comfortable. Even with the back of the backpack right up against your back in the hot weather, I didn't sweat any more than I did with one with an arch. Even with heavier loadouts, this doesn't pull on my shoulders or pinch them in any way. The way they designed this pack, they did their research. This thing is very comfortable. Another point I would like to make is about their customer service. When I was ordering my pack, I had issues in ordering this online on their website. Most likely it was operator error. I contacted customer support. They got back to me right away. We figured out how to order it without doing it online and paying, and it was amazing. Their customer service is just outstanding. What are your thoughts on using a frameless backpack? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you next time and go explore.